BMW CE02 press images clearly illustrate the target demographic for this battery electric, urban mobility vehicle, which straddles the line between a scooter and a motorcycle. It's all graffiti and skateboards. So, what exactly is the CE02 if it's neither a motorcycle nor a scooter? BMW dubs it an e-parkour, inspired by the agile, street-running athletes in the parkour world. Look up some videos, be amazed, and easily lose 10 minutes before getting back to your story. Let's categorize the CE02 as light local transportation, ideal for electric-powered commuting without hitting highways. With an 11 kilowatts per 15 horsepower motor, it reaches a top speed of 59 miles per hour and offers a range of up to 55 miles. Full-size electric motorcycles, by their nature, project an image to motorcycle enthusiasts that they can't yet fulfill. In America, motorcycles are more about fulfilling our dreams than practical transportation, with practicality often being a secondary or even tertiary consideration. Unless you have a very specific need, opting for an electric motorcycle over a traditional 650 to 900 cubic centimeters gasoline middleweight isn't practical. A gas-powered middleweight costs a fraction of an electric one and can be refueled in less than a minute with a tank holding about 165,000 watt-hours of energy. The typical American motorcyclist's vision focuses more on potential adventures than on practical use. While we might not ever set a lap record at Laguna Seca, ride to Alaska, or embody the ride to live, live to ride mantra, we like to imagine we could. Currently, electric motorcycles don't inspire these dreams for most riders. Hold on, because I'm actually making a case for bikes like the CE02. It starts at $7,599 or $9,069 as tested. This is more than you typically spend on a gas scooter in cities like Madrid, London, or San Francisco, but the CE02 excels at e-parkouring from skate park to skate park, or cruising around Las Vegas as we did on our one-day ride. Sure, $9,069 sounds steep until you realize how easy it is to drop $10,000 on a high endy mountain bike. This is the reality we live in. The CE02's price is higher than many other towny type two-wheelers in the motorcycle-slash-scooter category. We tested the CE02 during a press event that also included a day-long ride on the all-new F900GS. We covered about 220 miles on that parallel twin adventure bike, tackling everything from rock-bashing first-gear trails to hitting 100 miles per hour on various surfaces. While I doubt I'll ever ride that bike to Alaska, I'm certain it's capable of the journey. Anyway, most electric two-wheelers are incredibly fun to ride. Instant torque is unbeatable. And while we do love the sight of flames from a tailpipe and the roar of multiple cylinders, the silence and smoothness of electrics provide a unique and enjoyable experience. One of my favorite off-road rides was on an Alta electric dirt bike because of its quietness, speed, and performance. The CE02 brings those qualities to a scooter format. Riding it around Las Vegas, it's evident the CE02 benefits from being a BMW. It's thoroughly engineered, functions beautifully, and is constructed with high-quality, finely finished materials. BMW's extensive infrastructure, bolstered by its connection to the auto industry, provides an advantage that typical electric startups simply can't match. Riding the CE02 electric, every movement on the CE02 highlights its solid engineering. There are no rattles or shakes, and the non-adjustable fork and preload adjustable single shock ensure a smooth ride without feeling too soft. The front and rear disc brakes, operated by levers on the handlebars, function reliably. The throttle response, acting like a torque rheostat, is intuitive and consistent across all ride modes. While I appreciate the smoothness and quietness of the CVT belt drives and gas engines on most scooters, the CE02's 48-volt motor, delivering peak torque of 40.5 pound FT. Instantly from 0 to 1000 RPM is hard to beat, especially when accelerating from a standstill, where it easily outpaces even aggressive four-wheel traffic. Ride modes and rider aids. The CE02 offers flow, surf, and flash modes, suggesting the BMW team had some fun naming them, perhaps inspired by the rock and roll modes on the R18 Cruiser. Are the names a bit too playful? Maybe, but if taking a risk to enjoy the ride is the goal, then I'm all for flash mode and hoping it doesn't attract too much attention. 
Flow mode provides the gentlest throttle response with light regenerative braking. Surf mode offers direct output with zero regenerative braking. Flash mode features direct throttle response and the strongest regenerative braking. I primarily rode in flash mode, enjoying the challenge of using the brakes as little as possible by timing the regenerative braking to stop precisely where I wanted. The regenerative braking is non-linear, starting softly when you roll off the throttle, then ramping up as you decelerate. As you slow down and approach a stop, the Regen effect reduces, making the final transition smoother. Braking and Stability Features The front brake of the CE02 is equipped with ABS, while the rear brake is not. Standard features include Automatic Stability Control ASC, and Recuperation Stability Control RSC. ASC manages wheel spin during acceleration, while RSC moderates the regenerative braking in flow and flash modes to prevent the rear wheel from slipping as it regenerates power back into the batteries. Styling for a vibe. In terms of style, the CE02 stands out with its 14-inch wheels and single-sided swing arm. Although the wheels are aluminum, they resemble steelies, adding to the cool factor. The overall vibe is like a Honda Ruckus grows up and goes to art school with the CE02 being closer in size to a compact motorcycle than a small scooter. The colors, textures, and finishes are impressive. The basic black CE02 looks sleek, but you can add color and graphics with the Highline model, which also includes a gold anodized fork and other technical features. CE02 Storage and Luggage Options One downside of the CE02 compared to traditional scooters is the lack of built-in storage. Unlike many scooters with spacious underseat compartments, so spacious that some manufacturers had to label them no pets, the CE02 offers no such feature. Your cat, Chairman Meow, will have to ride in your backpack. A friend once packed his 1980s Honda Helix 250 storage bin with ice and live lobster to transport across LA. Not pets, so it was fine? BMW offers various soft side and tail bags, as well as a large top case, through their accessory catalog to address storage needs. Electric motor power and performance. The CE02 features a 48-volt motor that resembles an automobile alternator. The lower voltage allows for air cooling instead of liquid cooling, and it eliminates the need for dealers to obtain special certifications for working on high-voltage systems. Power is transmitted to the rear wheel via a dual reduction belt drive with a fixed ratio, eliminating the need for a clutch or gear shifts. Riders can choose between front or rear foot pegs, depending on whether they prefer a sporty or relaxed riding position. The rear pegs also serve as passenger pegs. According to BMW, the CE02 with two batteries and maximum power can accelerate from 0 to 31 miles per hour in 3 seconds. There are also single battery, speed limited variants producing 5 horsepower for other markets. The service interval is every 2 years, involving basic checks of brakes, brake fluid, and drive belts.